When I was a kid, I dreamed about flying through space and exploring new worlds. But I wondered what's holding us back. Over time, I came to learn that fuel is one of the things that limits our ability to go to deep space. That's why I founded Prime Lightworks, to investigate solar-powered, fully renewable space propulsion. My name's Kyle Flanagan. I'm the founder and CEO of Prime Lightworks. In space, the future of propulsion is sunlight. These days, if you want to move around in space, you need massive engines and fuel tanks. An average satellite is half propellant, which means half of its mass is fuel, and you have to launch that into space. Microwave propulsion can make satellites greener and more cost-effective, and has the potential to increase spacecraft lifetime, reliability, and maneuverability. Planetary Society just launched the light sail, and we now have data proving that electromagnetic propulsion is not only possible, but feasible and real. Now that the solar sail has been proven, we're looking to create a more efficient, fully electric propulsion system. Fuel for satellites is essentially a lifetime issue. As much fuel as you can carry is as long as the life duration that you can have for your satellite. Radio frequency cavities can actually solve this problem by eliminating that need for fuel. A solar sail works by taking the photons emitted from the sun and bouncing it off a sail, much like the wind on a ship. Instead of a photon hitting once, we actually recapture it so it bounces and then bounces again and bounces again. And this provides a higher efficiency from each photon, providing more thrust than the typical solar sail. Over the past three years, we've built a prototype and a test bed. We test this prototype propulsion system on a torsion pendulum. It's very sensitive and can detect thrust less than the weight of a feather. And then we put that in our vacuum chamber on an optics table and measure it using a laser with a system called an interferometer. We can show from the mathematical equations from a physical sense that this actually is able to produce thrust. The physics is there and we've been able to show that the engineering is there. And once we have the test data, we should be able to show that this is a real technology. Our team is uniquely suited to prove that electromagnetic propulsion is possible. I'm an electromagnetics engineer from SpaceX from 2013 to 2015. Before SpaceX, I did my undergrad at Harvard where I studied physics and I did internships at CERN on antimatter for ATRAP under Professor Gerald Gabriels. I did the next summer for Jet Propulsion Lab in Pasadena, California, where I was with Bob Tielker doing a deep space atomic clock project. So that actually just launched on board a Falcon Heavy. Pete Dome is our RF engineer, uh, vice president. I love Pete. You know, he's been with us since summer of 2016 at Y Combinator. I mean, he built the radio that talks between SpaceX Dragon Capsule and the International Space Station. He was there in the early days. And he's built our entire RF prototype. Todd Breggy, our production manager, uh, is an auto car racer, is a 20 years in structural steel. So, you know, as a team of technologists, we bring together electromagnetics and radio engineering to make a high performance but low noise prototype test. In 2016, we got accepted to Y Combinator, our first startup accelerator, and we've raised 1.8 million in seed funding to date. Uh, we also got accepted to Greentown Labs, where we're a member company, a uh, clean tech incubator. In 2018, we got accepted to Cleantech Open and won an honorable mention for emerging technology. And in 2019, we pitched at the Paris Air Show and have been accepted to Starburst Accelerator. There are so many great reasons to invest in new space technology. Historically, we have NASA to thank, the Apollo mission, the space shuttle, for solar panels, GPS, materials like Teflon. When we invest in space, we have big impacts back here on Earth. The total addressable market for electropropulsion manufacturing was $170 million in 2019. And at 24% annual growth, that's projected to be $640 million by 2024. And in the long run, investments in renewable propulsion for aerospace could have a broader impact. You know, these are tough times. We've really made an impact on the planet in a negative way. I mean, I love being a SpaceX, I love space, but burning fuel to get there was hard for me. And there's a lot of space trash, debris that we've thrown away from decades of missions. And right now we don't have a way to take care of that. Well, unlimited propulsion from solar power, we could deorbit space trash to make space safe for satellites and spacecraft. With the money we raised from Start Engine, over the next six to 12 months, we're gonna be taking our proof of concept prototype through vacuum chamber testing for thrust measurements. So that's where you come in. We're looking to build a community who's going to follow our test and give us feedback, to purchase equity in our company, to invest in our prototype, in our team, in our technology. That's why we're going with Start Engine. 
because a technology like this can become possible when we work together. Whether you're a scientist or an environmentalist, or you think space is cool, I invite you to invest in us at Prime Lightworks and the future of renewable space propulsion.